Are bunnies dangerous? Yes, dangerously adorable. When we think of bunnies, we often think of cute, cuddly, and mostly innocent creatures. In fact, they are so fluffy, gentle, and by nature herbivores, so they don't need to kill other animals in order to eat. As prey themselves, typically they are the ones at the bottom of the food chain being hunted down and killed. Knowing this information would lead us to conclude that a rabbit couldn't hurt a fly, or could they? In this video, we'll be discussing the phenomenon of how, who, and when a rabbit chooses to kill. Please subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the little bell to be notified every time we upload. If you've ever been bitten by a rabbit before, you'll know it is an extremely rare but painful experience. A rabbit's front incisors are sharp and designed to be able to chomp through roughage like hay and bark. Therefore, cutting through skin can especially draw blood. Rabbits also have a very powerful kick that can seriously injure an animal, even a human, if they so wish. In fact, their kick is so strong, it can allow them to leap up to 12 feet to escape predators. They don't use this ability often, but it does come in handy when needed. Most bunny behavior stems from their status as prey animals. They are wired to be alert and on guard. However, it is not in their nature to hunt. Rabbits are also typically very sweet, gentle, and docile, which means they make great pets. But if you chase them, pick them up, loom over them while they're in their habitat, or restrain them in some way, they will get scared. Any sign of rabbit aggression is often precipitated by feeling threatened. Because rabbits are considered small animals, although in the modern day there are some breeds bigger than dogs, most rabbits cannot physically kill an animal larger than them, meaning killing humans is out of the question, but that doesn't mean they won't attack when triggered. Whether that attack contributes to the killing of another smaller animal or another rabbit, however, depends entirely on the severity of the threat. Rabbits have been known to kill each other quite gruesomely, sometimes accidentally through competition for resources, and sometimes deliberately. Here are eight reasons why a rabbit may kill other animals or another rabbit. Number one, for power or dominance. Unneutered male rabbits, also known as bucks, have a tendency to fight against each other for control over a female rabbit, also known as a doe. The injuries can be serious, gory, and fatal. Number two, during mating. In the wild, a buck will fight for the right to breed with a doe and can often lead to the death of the other rabbit. This ensures that only the strongest and healthiest bucks will produce the next generation. Number three, introduction of a new rabbit. This has to do with the invasion of another rabbit's territory. If in a group, the new rabbit may be oppressed by the others, not getting food and even isolated, and can sometimes be fought by other males or females. With domesticated rabbits, this can be avoided through human intervention called a bonding process, in which the rabbits are introduced in a neutral territory and made to spend time with each other to see if they get along. Number four, to encourage breeding. It is not unheard of for a buck to kill baby rabbits to encourage the doe to go back into season. This is most common if they are not his offspring, but can happen even if they are. Number five, protecting her babies. A female rabbit can potentially kill other animals that try to take her offspring. Take this video of a mama rabbit attacking a snake that killed a couple of her babies. 
This was a very deliberate action and probably with the intention to kill. As you can see, the mother had no problem attacking the snake and sinking her teeth deeply into it. This is a mother's true love. Number six, fighting off thieves. A rabbit can potentially kill other small rodents like rats who try to steal their food. This would only happen if resources were very low and the rabbit was very hungry and irritated. Number seven, eating their offspring. Rabbits will eat their offspring, also known as kits, for a variety of reasons, like when kits are sick, the mother is stressed, there's not enough milk, the kits are mistaken as placenta, the kits are actually already dead, or when the rabbit is too young to be a mother. And finally, number eight, the killing being accidental. Usually this entails a much larger or stronger breed interacting with a much younger rabbit, smaller rabbit, or an older rabbit that is frail. So for example, pairing up a Flemish giant and a Netherland dwarf wouldn't be the best idea because that giant could easily trample over the dwarf during interaction. Bear in mind, all of these instances are rare and the likelihood that your cute pet bunny will kill any soul is very slim. Do not let these examples alarm you or deter you from getting a pet rabbit. Most spayed and neutered domestic bunnies that have been socialized and kept in control environments will not display the above behaviors. But even if they did display some signs of aggression, there are ways to cope with these defense mechanisms. I have made a couple of videos on dealing with aggressive rabbits that I encourage you to watch and I will link in the iCard. So does this mean that your pet bunny is gonna kill another living being? It's important to note that domestic rabbits that live indoors will not have to resort to killing other animals who steal their food. A spayed or neutered rabbit will not have to kill another rabbit for territory if introduced and bonded properly through human intervention. But also, if two rabbits simply do not get along despite trying to bond them, they should not be forced to stay together. And finally, a spayed bunny will not have to kill predators to protect her offspring because, well, she would not be able to reproduce in the first place. As long as a rabbit isn't given the opportunity to fear or dominate, there should be no reason for a rabbit to kill. Regardless, it is still critical to always place your bunny's safety first. Be careful with who or what you introduce them to. And remember that rabbits are inherently loving and kind creatures. As long as they have proper housing, resources, and love, your rabbit would never, ever have to resort to killing. That's it for today's video, Lennies. Thanks for tuning in. Comment down below. Do you think your rabbit would ever kill another animal? I'm curious. My opinion is that Lennon is not capable of killing. She's just way too trusting of the world, but that's how I've raised her to be. Please subscribe and we'll see you all soon.